Welcome Capricorns. I'm back y'all with another video. So yeah, I've been a little in my A a little bit um, for the past couple of weeks, but I'm back guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Happy to be back with you guys. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. You can go ahead and click the bell to subscribe, honey, because you're going to want to know this tea, this tea that I'm dropping on y'all. And I'm debating on if I'm going to start doing weekly readings. I think I'm going to start doing weekly and daily readings. But this is going to be after I move because I'm in process of moving. So this is going to be after I get settled in and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to start bringing out new stuff to the channel, okay? Speaking of some new, new guys, look at this product right here now. Look at this, look at this, look at this, all right? So we have the Energy Clearing Spray, guys. This is going to be an amazing must-have product, okay? This product is um, an alternative to smudging. So for the ones who don't like the smell of the sage or burning your Palo Santo, guys this has all of that in one okay so we got the pet we got the sage the palo santo we got the florida water we got the charge with clear quartz crystals guys yeah this right here is going to be it honey you got a couple of razzle dazzle in there i can't tell y'all every little thing okay but it has an amazing fragrance, guys. You can use this in your car, in your office, in your home, around your children because the scent is so fresh. Like, it just smells like a lemony scent. You can pull this out anywhere and spray. Wherever you feel like you need to cleanse, you know, you're walking into a little space when nobody's looking. Skin, maybe like, girl, what's that smell? Yeah, um, oh, it's just some perfume. <laughs> But really, you're clearing the air. You're clearing your atmosphere. This is on sale, guys, for 20% off. 20% off today. That information is going to be in the drop box below. All right, so once you are done with this reading, honey, you can head on over to the website and get your 20% off your entire order. There is a banner on the website. So once you click onto the website, guys, there is a banner that's going to give you your promo code to use at the checkout for you to utilize that 20% off all right so let's talk guys let's talk capricorns let's see what messages we got for y'all in love for the month of june so sun moon rising venus north node south node jupiter if you have capricorn anywhere in those places you can utilize this video all right so what message do you have for the capricorn for the month of june If y'all hear, like, someone talking in the background, like, yelling and stuff, that's my son. He's in the next room. When he gets on those games, he be all into it. He be on the phone with his friends and all of that. And they get a little reckless sometimes. All right, so let's see. Capricorn. What messages are there for Capricorn, please? What messages are there for Capricorn? All right, so we got the Four of Swords. I'm gonna stop right here. Oh, you're spying. Y'all not spying. Who y'all spying on? Y'all could be spying on a Libra. Could be spying on a Taurus. Oh, it could be, I'm getting a separation. There's, you're going through a break period. For some of y'all, y'all are separated. Okay, there's a separation here. Maybe you're waiting for somebody to make up their mind on what they want to do. If they want to be single. Maybe you're trying to make up your mind whether or not you, you want to be single. Um, but I am getting like you guys are on a break period. Like the four swords is taking the time out. Maybe you're reevaluating. Never you know, in a retrograde season. All right, so you could be reevaluating, looking at things. You know, just kind of like letting things go or wrapping up old cycles. But the thing about retrograde is the word re. There's a lot of redoing, reevaluating, reprocessing things. Okay. 
Yeah, nine of wands. Seven of cups. The fool. The three of pentacles. The queen of cups. The ten of wands. The ace of wands. The eight of swords. And the chariot. All right. So it looks like you have been carrying this heavy burden for a while. Yeah, you've been carrying this for a while. I feel like you're tired of carrying this burden on your back. So you're thinking of your next move. You're thinking of your next move. What do you want to do? I feel like you got a decision that you have to make. And it's, it's a big one. It's a big decision that you have to make. I feel like you may be kind of stuck <clears throat> maybe feeling kind of stuck or afraid to kind of like just make the decision but with the outcome being a chariot we're going to see where this where this goes okay so we got the seven of cups here why is the seven of cups here tell me more about the seven of cups please the star all right so I, I am getting a separation. For some of you, you're married to this person and you've been, you're, you guys are separated. You're taking a break from each other. The Three of Swords and the Hierophant is definitely like a separation. Or there's been some type of breakup. I feel like you've been, think, you've been processing this. Like you're processing your feelings how do you feel while you're on a break period from this person i feel like you're watching this person too you got your eye on this person like you're just watching them like you're watching them i feel like with the lovers and the six of cups i feel like with the knight of cups here as well too i feel like maybe there was an offer in the past there was some type of offer. The Nine of Cups is an offer. Six of Cups is the past. So maybe you could communicate with this person recently or there was some type of offer in the past, but somebody played. Somebody played with this offer, this Knight of Wands. So this, this cycle in this chapter closed. You're possibly waiting for someone else to come in, okay? Knight of Swords and the Emperor. Somebody's waiting for someone else to rush in. I feel like this is a plot, a scheme, a plan. But I'm getting like somebody's being real sneaky here. I feel like y'all being real sneaky. Like, like I'm just getting like something could be involving the internet with this two of wands here. You see how this person is looking at looking at the he has the uh, globe in his in his hand. This reminds me of the internet. Okay, this is like someone's doing looking at the internet. Okay, like plotting here, especially with the Seven of Swords here. Some sneaky business going on. But there is some type of argument here, some type of disagreement with the Tower and the Five of Wands. This is something that happens out of the blue. All of a sudden, someone reaches out. Someone could be asking for, someone could be asking for a favor with finances. With this Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on. Why is this star here? The King of Cups. I feel like some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I'm getting also with the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands here. There could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries involved, and as well as a Pisces or a Cancer, okay? But I'm getting, like, there could be a mystery. This person could be a mystery to you, like, real mysterious. And you could be dealing with the Queen of Wands. But things aren't manifesting the way that you want them to manifest. I feel like you gave someone a chance with the Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. 
could it be definitely be a Leo with the sun and the strength card here. Both of these cards symbolize symbolizes Leo. Could be a Sagittarius as well. I feel like you're having some type of regrets with the Five of Cups and the King of Pentacles. This is you guys' energy. This King of Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Five of Cups is like crown over spilled milk. Okay, I feel like somebody here is a little selfish. It could be y'all. It could be you guys' energy. Like, maybe you're feeling like this other person is being selfish. Or this is you being kind of like self-absorbent. Like, people would say being selfish is, is, you know, a problem. But to me, it depends on how selfish you are. Like, you're supposed to be selfish with yourself, your energy, your time, this and that. Like, things that people don't deserve. So... Somebody here is saying that they want to be single or somebody's behaving single, but they're in a relationship. It looks like it's a brand new relationship because we got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Okay, so this is like a, um, a new cup of love. Okay, a new cup of love, a new something new. Okay. But I feel like with the Three of Cups, there could be third-party energy here. And you're not sure how you're going to express this or tell this person. Or you're not sure how to ask this person, is there a third party? Or or they're not sure how to come at you. Or you just don't want to, you're not sure if you should be open and tell the truth about it. But I feel like there's some a situation here that you feel like you aren't going to get any victory. And you're not, you're not getting anything out of it. You're disappointed because you're not getting a victory. And the relationship is also toxic. Ten of Cups and the Devil. You feel as if you aren't bearing any fruit from this relationship and it's not worth it. I feel like there could definitely be talks about someone's uh, financial situation with the Five of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Someone here could be looking, actively looking for a new home or someone is just looking for stability. But someone here could also be having issues with their finances. Okay. Yeah, definitely somebody's having issues with their finances with the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here. So somebody here could be having financial issues and they're jumping in relationships and they, I feel like if this is you Capricorn, I'm just going to tell you, like, make sure your money together. Y'all should know this because y'all the goats when it comes to that. That's why I'm kind of surprised with this behavior because... You guys are normally, this might, this may not even be your energy. Somebody else may have, the person that you're dealing with may be having financial issues. All right, so tell me more about this Four of Swords. I feel like with that Seven of Cups and the Star and the King of Cups, maybe, I'm feeling like maybe you're emotionally happy with your decision. You made some type of decision. You thought about it for a long time. This is a decision that you thought about for a super long time. Like, you've been thinking about it. It's been on your mind for a super long time. Why is the Four of Swords here? Queen of Swords. So, here you go. I feel like some of you have gotten in a serious relationship with this Queen of Swords and this Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Okay? So you made a decision. And you know what? On a lot, matter of fact, you guys' readings were for, for months. It was, you guys got to make a decision. Y'all got to make a choice. I kept telling y'all that. I feel like y'all finally made this decision. You've made your decision. I feel like emotionally, you feel like you made, you're hoping like, you're hoping like, and I hope I made the right decision. I feel like you're thinking about it, but I feel like some of you have already gotten into a connection. I'm not sure if you, somebody is disappointed because they aren't getting the attention. Somebody's not giving somebody the attention that they want. And somebody's saying, you can't make me. <laughs> 
You can't make me do this. You can't make me do... I'm getting that. I'm getting a little bit of bickering. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. The Ace of Swords. All right. So you've been thinking of how you're going to tell possibly this other person here the truth. Okay, that you don't want to go back to this. You don't want to go back. It's an ex because we got the four of cups and the six of cups. You don't want to go back to this ex person. You want to start something new, which I feel like you've already gotten into. You've already made your decision. But you are thinking about how you're going to cut this person off of you, how you're going to say it, how you're going to tell this person the truth, how you're going to present this to them, okay? I feel like some of y'all are thinking about karma here with the justice and the moon, okay? I'm getting what's done in the dark, what's done in the dark here. I feel like you kept somebody in the dark, and you were going to wait to tell them you were waiting to tell them because you was just peeping this person out. Like, you was just watching them. I feel like maybe you was kind of, like, possibly looking for, like, the flaws. Like, yeah, I don't like that about you. Yeah, I don't like that about you either. Yeah, I'm going to go over here type of energy because you're studying this person. You're, you're studying the fuck out of them. Yeah, you're studying them. Yeah, and here you are. You made up your mind. You made up your mind. And you think that you made the right decision. Yeah, you, you feel like you made the right decision. You feel like you made the right decision. Okay, and I feel like you've been pondering on this. Y'all been pondering on this for a while. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Justice. Now you're looking out for karma. You looking out for karma now. Could be dealing with the a Libra. Yeah, like you're waiting to see what's coming. Like it's like you're waiting to see what they're gonna clap back with. Okay, you're waiting to see like what's around the corner. Okay, I feel like you've offered this cup possibly to a Leo. Okay, for a lot of you, there's a Leo involved. We got the Sun and the Queen of Wands, or this person could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries, or this person is just bringing you a lot of life. Like, this person brings a lot of life to you. Like, they bring a lot of fun. They bring a lot of passion. And it's I'm getting, like, a very bright. They brighten up your day. They brighten up your day. This person could have possibly been putting in a lot of work. Okay, they've been putting these, building these pentacles, lining them up. Okay, there's this passion here. And you don't have to worry about a thing when you're with this person, when you're around them. When you don't got no money, or if you ain't got what you, what you, if you lacking, they got you. Two of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like some of you are married. For some of you, this is an affair. I feel like you made a promise to this person to be faithful, but I do see a marriage here with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, and that's not for everybody, or somebody has been with somebody for a minute. Maybe that you got you and this person have been kicking it for a while, just nobody has been really knowing what's been going on but you and this person. Um, yeah, you've made this final decision with the Strength card. You've had the courage to make this decision. Okay. Yeah. You got a new cup. You got a new cup. The Ace of Cups. Six of Wands. And you feel like this is your chance. Like you're looking at it like this is my chance. I've been waiting on this. This this is what I've been waiting on. Um, you're gonna give this new person a chance. And I feel like you're closing out a chapter with this this old cycle. I'm getting that this person could be providing you with stability. Um, or you providing them with stability either or or you guys are both financially on the same page Somebody here like I said someone here could be looking for a home Or something like that or looking for stability Ooh, but I get that there is some some sneakiness going on with the seven of swords and the five of swords yikes 
That could be some sneaky, cheating, manipulative. It's a lot of manipulation here in this situation here. In this new situation, everything that glitters does is not gold. Now, I'm going to just say that. But the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, this is very manipulating, manipulative energy. Somebody is being manipulated. Somebody could be being manipulated. Somebody's being played. Why well, is the fool here? Yeah, see, you weren't sure if you should take this risk. You've been, like I said, you've been thinking about it. Like, you're thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. You've been thinking about this for a while. Because all majority of all of my readings with the Capricorn, you guys had a a really big decision to make and I feel like you guys have been dreading it and dreading it and dreading it for a while and you finally decided that you were on the brink of making your decision or some of you have already made your decision tell me more about this two of swords Yes. Okay. Eight of Wands. You were waiting. You were. You was. You was dragging this on till you couldn't drag it on no more. You dragged your feet to leave. Okay. You drug your feet because you weren't sure how you were gonna how you was gonna say it. You drug it out. You drug it out for as long as you could. Yep. And till you just you know came out and said, "Look, this is over." Okay, eight of wands in the world. All right, you. I feel like some of y'all just came out and said it. Now we got the three of pentacles here in the past and the devil. All right, so you were busy. You were working on working on you. You got a connection here. I keep getting the Leo. For some, you got a connection with the Leo, and I feel like you finally you made this final decision with the judgment. Okay, the ten of pentacles and the the hierophant. I do feel either this is leading to marriage or some of you are married and like I said, this is an affair. I feel like with the four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, I feel like this is a situation to where you can kind of like save your money and do what you want to do with your money because this person is like, they got your back. Like they making sure that you straight too. Okay. Like I said, you went, you, you decided to go with this new cut for sure. All right, so tell me more about this devil. Five of Swords. Ooh, yeah. See, I feel like the way you hand this is talking about the way the situation was handled. I feel like it was handled very underhanded. This is why you're why you're looking out for karma. Because some of y'all didn't handle the situation. Y'all handled it like this. Like y'all wanted to win at any cost. This is the situation, okay? Maybe you were working on something already with this other with this other person. The person that you were dealing with had no clue that this was going on until it came out the bag and somebody feels betrayed, somebody feels uh, stabbed in the back. That's why you're over here with your guard up because you're looking out for karma. Damn. All right, so we got this Queen of Cups over here. Some of y'all could be dealing, this could be your past person, okay? This could be your person from the past, but going into the future, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Four of Cups. You don't want this offer from them. You aren't interested in them. I feel like you are running away from them. Okay, so we got the three of wands, the king of cups, I'm sorry, the three of cups, and the knight of swords, and the queen of wands, and the sun, and the knight of cups. You're going towards this offer with this fire sign. I keep picking up that, so Leo. Why is the four of cups here? The knight of pentacles, yeah. See, you're not offering this, this pentacle. You don't want to offer this to this past person you feel like it's not worth it like you feel like it's too much of a loss like you will be taking too much of a loss 
So you don't you don't want that. You don't want to offer this to this person. And I feel like there's some there's that seven of swords again and that four of wands. Some of y'all lived with this person, you're married to this person, or this is like a your twin flame. And I'm getting the runner chaser phase right now. I feel like you're having regrets. I feel like you're you want this person to regret something. So maybe this is this person karma. Maybe you're serving this person their karma. Okay, because you want this person to regret something here. That's why you're not offering them this cup. Why is the seven of swords here? Yeah, the two of pentacles and the ten of cups. Somebody could have been living a double life. Could have been in two situations until they found something better. Okay, so you guys could have been dragging this person along until you found something better or vice versa. They could have been dragging you along until they found something better. But definitely, I'm getting until I find something better, I drug you along. That's the energy that I'm getting. And that's going into the near future. Okay, so I'm feeling like it. This is how you're viewing this person, like, you know, dragging them along till you find something better. You find something new. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Yeah, you gave a lot. You feel like you gave a lot to this connection, this past situation. I feel like, and you're tired, like, you're, like, over it. You're over it. Like, I don't gave so much to this situation. I don't, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't got nothing to say to you, really. Yeah, like, I feel like the judgment is here. The judgment keeps resurfacing. You have made your judgment call. Yeah, like... You're giving them a reason, I feel like. Or this person gave you a reason to do what you're doing right now. Like, you feel like they gave you the reason. They gave you this reason to do this. Okay? Because the way that they behaved or something that they did or said. Maybe you're also making this person wait to come back around. You feel like, you know, you missed your chance. You want them to feel that way. I keep getting with the Knight of Wands and the Five Pentacles. It just came out and I put it back and it came it came back out again. So I feel like somebody straight up got played. They got played and threw and thrown to the wolves. Like like a rag doll. Like played and then throw to the wolves. Like I really feel like a lot of y'all drug this situation out, drug it on, drug it on until y'all found what you were looking for. And then it was like, okay, I'm done with you. I'm good. You, you can go know about your business type of vibe. But now you're looking back at the situation, y'all, on the, on, the, on y'all P's and Q's looking out for karma. Why is the Ace of Wands here? This person that you're dealing with, they're watching you. They're watching you. They're seeing what's new, what's changed, what's different. They're watching. Why is the Eight of Swords here? I feel like you're hoping that this person stays stuck. You're hoping that you got this person in their feelings, sad, miserable. I feel like you want this person to be miserable. Like, I don't know what this person did to you, but you don't want them to be happy. Like, I feel like you want them to be stuck and sad. Maybe because that's how they made you feel. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you're going to keep them on hold. You're going to keep them on hold. And you, you feel like, I can go back to that when I feel like it. You know this person loves you, and you know they'll come back. You know they love you, and you can come back and get them whenever you feel like it. Y'all so arrogant. <laughs> Why is the chariot card here? Your outcome is chariot. You could be dealing with the cancer, but... Yeah, you're going for what's more beneficial, okay? Chariot and the Queen of Pentacles. 
Like you're pushing forward. You're pushing forward. You're going after, like your eye is on the prize. Like you're going after the prize. You're going after this pentacle that she, this lady is looking at in her hand, admiring it. You're going after that. You're going after that. Why's the magician here? Hermit. And the four of wands. I keep getting someone's looking for a home or there's a marriage here. Look, I'm even getting the emperor, a married man here who has a lot of secrets, okay? Who has a lot of secrets. Now, why is the four of wands here? Page of Wands and the Six of Cups. I feel like you guys are manifesting something. You're man, you're looking. I feel like you're trying to manifest stability. You're manifesting stability here. And I feel like that is your goal. That is what you're going after. I feel like with your past situation, you don't see a victory in this. I feel like you may have overextended yourself in this situation. You feel burnt out by this situation. I feel like you don't, you feel like you, you aren't getting, uh, you, you can't manifest there. Like it's not going to benefit you in that situation. And it's not to say that you don't care about this person. It's just more so of you're going after something that's more beneficial. Some of you may be in your survival season, okay, where it's like, look, I can't afford to do this, 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 that, that, that right now at this time. Right now, I need to make this move because this is the move that's best for me in my situation and what I have going on right now, okay? But I do see, like, y'all are worried a little bit about some karma. Why is the nine of swords here? The seven of wands. It's how you handled, how you handled the situation. Um, you forced, you, I feel like you pushed, you found something new, and then how... I feel like you may have just thrown this thrown this situation on the back burner. Like, hey, bye. I'm out. Look, I'm out. 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 I do feel like y'all want somebody to regret. Because somebody here was playing like they was tough with this king of swords. You want them to regret how they responded to a situation or what they said, and it blew up into this big argument. I feel like you want them to regret how they responded to a, to a situation, how they handled the situation. They're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. They check in from time to time to see what's new, to see what's going on. Tell me more. Give me some um, cards here for the Capricorn in love. We got chemistry, forgiving and learning, and you deserve love. All right, so I feel like you have a chemistry. You have a connection with somebody, okay, and it's really, really strong. You feel like this is something that you deserve. You feel like you deserve this, okay? There's something that you have to, that you have to forgive or you're learning to forgive, Give me three three more cards here. Love yourself first and wedding. I knew a marriage was involved. And yes, yeah, see, deception. See, there, for some of you, there's a love affair here. There's a affair here. Give me another card. One more card for caps. Okay, express your love. Okay, I feel like you got, you, you caught in romantic feelings for whoever this third party is. Whoever this other person is, I feel like you've caught feelings. You've caught feelings because this person is has some finances. They got the coin, okay? They matching your they matching you, okay? Y'all on the same page when it comes to finances, all right? So you have disconnected from your from your ex 
your past person, you've disconnected from them because you feel like this new person here is your true love. Okay, this is something like, yeah, I'm 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 getting to know them. The more I'm getting to know them to know them, the more I like about them. And I feel like you could be feeling like your last situation, my last situation wasn't nothing like this. They they did this, this, that, woo, woo, do, 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 woo, 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 woo. Okay, but we got codependency here. Be 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 weary. Be be careful. I'm not gonna say weary. Be careful of becoming too codependent on a given hand. Okay, because them type of people they can snatch that from you. Okay, they, they use that as a control tactic. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you're careful. I feel like you're saying you're really optimistic about this new person, and I feel like I said a lot of y'all are on a separation. Y'all are on a break period. Like I said, for some of you, this is a marriage that is going through separation that is headed towards divorce. And there is possibly, for some, you, you're still, you're in a married situation, but you're, you're ste you've stepped out. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, during this, during this separation, this is what was going on. Deception and passion. So it looks like y'all have, y'all fell in love with the outside <laughs> and y'all decided to give that situation a chance okay y'all been having all these conversations about being soulmates and how attracted y'all are to each other but then your ex came back around and i feel like if some of y'all reconnected with your ex but i feel like maybe it was just playful playful energy maybe it was just some little playful energy and they came back and wanted to heal things. But you already had this situation going on. You already had this new person that was over here making the effort, putting in the effort. So this allowed you to free yourself from your ex, okay? This allowed you to free yourself. It's like the spell is broken. They freed you from what you were bound to, okay? And you feel like it's safe for you to let your guard down but spirit is saying pay attention to the red flags and like i said everything that glitters ain't gold okay you gotta be careful and i'm gonna say that you gotta be careful when dealing with somebody who already knows your situation the only reason that they come off as this is i can't believe this is so good to be true is because a lot of the times you're venting to this person so they know what not to do and what to do so they're wearing a false mask from the jump because while you're venting they're knowing what not to do and what not to say because you're saying what you don't like from your person and yeah they do this yeah they don't do that yeah i had to do this yeah, I had to do that. When actuality, they're listening because they're taking notes. Okay, so you got to be careful. Everything that glitters definitely isn't gold. And spirit is already saying, you trust this person, but spirit is saying you need to pay attention to the red flags. Okay? Pay attention to the red flags, honey. Everything that glitter ain't gold. And especially if this is involving a marriage. Okay, especially if this is involving a marriage. I feel like I do feel like there's an affair going on here of some sort. I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some clarifiers. Tell me why our chemistry is here. Woo! The Empress. All right, so you are very attracted to this person this person is very beautiful to you like you love their feminine energy and i feel like somebody is investing either you investing into them or they are investing into you 
But the thing about it is I still see a lot of playful energy. With the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords, this is somebody who's in and out and they play a lot. Like they're here, then they're there, and they're, they are cheating. But I do see a connection here that you have, and I keep getting Leo. I keep getting Leo. For a lot of you guys, it's a Leo. Now, you deserve love. Five of Pentacles, I feel like you were feeling rejected and left out for a while. So the first thing that came along that gave you some hope after this period of feeling rejected and lonely or sad or missing out or going through a hardship, I feel like this situation here gave you some hope, okay? This situation gave you some hope. So forgiving and learning. Four of Wands, I keep telling you, I can't make this up. There is a marriage here. A family that looks like has been broken apart. There's an interference here with the Seven of Wands. There's an interference here. And here's the divorce. Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. And because of this Queen of Wands, this is what happens. This is what's to come. Okay? Now we got Love Yourself First. King of Pentacles, you guys, is energy. Maybe this situation is teaching you to put yourself first with the King of Pentacles. Like you, with the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, like you get to kind of like refrain. Like you don't, you don't have to put your hand out so much to help or do. In this situation that you're in, maybe you get to kind of like chill, pull back, refrain um, from doing so much, okay? Some of you are, you're looking at new car, looking at a new car, Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands and the Chariot. Some of you are like looking at a new car. You're visualizing yourself in a new car. We got the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here. A lot of water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I'm getting really soon, you guys are going to have, like you're getting something new. There's something new coming in. It could be like some new clothes or some, something new is coming. Lots of attention as well. Now let's see about this wedding here. Why is wedding here? Page of Cups. Somebody is saying that they don't think that it's over. Or somebody is saying that they think that it's over. King of Swords, Death, and Six of Swords. I feel like you think that this is over Okay like The marriage is over But Is it over because there's a third party Involved there's an interference Why is the page of cups here The three of pentacles Someone here has a new Passionate thing going on Someone you could feel like this person has a lot of different other offers for themselves as well. Um, and this stresses you out. This stresses you out. Like, this is something that you think about. And it stresses you out. Now, let's get to express your love. Queen of Cups. This is your ex person here. This could be the one that you were with for a while. You've been... You've been with that person for a long time and or you're married to or separated. Now the Queen of Cups here. I'm getting like you're hoping that you made the right decision. Yeah, I keep getting that. Like you you're like, I hope I made the right decision. Nine of Wands and the Six of Cups. Like you're trying to block out your past by not talking about it. But you're not sure. Like, I feel like you're not sure. I feel like you was uncertain from the beginning on taking this risk. But I feel like you wanted to speak your truth. You was waiting to speak your truth. But I, I feel like you were playing a lot of games with this person. I feel like a lot of you were already had something going on on the side. And you was just kind of playing around with this Queen of Cups. You had this Queen of Cups just kind of in the loop. 
until it got exposed, the moon and the sun. So what was done in the dark came to the light. And yeah, like I feel like you expressed, like, you know, I think this has come to an end. I think what we have or had has come to an ending point. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Three of Swords, yeah. This person is heartbroken. I feel like you left this person heartbroken. Uh, and this person was a part. You put this person in a third-party situation. They're heartbroken. And here's the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody that you've been with for a long time. You've been with this person for a long time. You've been dealing with this for a while. Okay? But there could have been arguments and disagreements over finances, over money. Okay? So I feel like you just look, you found something new. Like you found something, you made your decision, and you found something new. But this Queen of Cups, I feel like um, it's heartbroken. Let's see. I want to know what this Queen of Cups, what this other person did. Why is the Three of Swords here? Queen of Swords. Yeah, you cut this person off. And they're heartbroken. Like I'm getting like you this person thought that you was going to love them forever like it was going to be like that forever and i feel like they you know they were they're having regrets as well and i feel like they've accepted you know this is closing up the chapter and i feel like they're focused on money now all right, so that's going to be the message that I have for my cappies. All right, so if this message resonated with you guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up so we can get this video rotating. All right, as well, guys, don't forget to check out the website, guys, to get your energy clearing spray. 20% off today, guys. Just click on the website and look at the banner so you can get your 20% off code and use it at checkout. All right, until next time, my loves. Ciao for now.